welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be all about marketing captions. Marketing captions for your Instagram posts, Facebook posts, Twitter posts, um, for your uh, paid advertising if you choose to go that route, just advertising and marketing in general. Now I did make a post on my Instagram at Brittany underscore bundles as well as bad chick here underscore biz and I just asked you all what you were struggling with with your business and what type of information or tips would you like me to come and um, elaborate on for you all. So I did get lots of feedback back. So I do appreciate all of you that responded back. Um, and one of them stood out to me, uh, which is marketing captions. I got people that asked um, or that submitted uh, answers such as marketing, um, advertising, promoting for my business and things like that. So I thought that choosing marketing captions would kind of encompass all of those areas and you know, I'd be able to um, kill multiple birds with one stone, you know, so to speak. So if you are interested in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. So what I want to talk about first is the importance of how you position your posts. Now for me, social media is used as a tool for my business. I use social media very frequently and social media has had, um, had a huge part to play in my business as far as building relationships, gaining new clients and customers, and also uh, being able to earn more money, more revenue for my business by securing more sales. My goal, like I've mentioned in multiple videos, is not to have the most likes nor to be the most popular on social media, but it is to stay focused on what it is my initial goal is and be able to have a landing page that the post directs uh, viewers to. So for example, if my goal is to have whoever views my post go to my website to check out my Black Friday sale, for an example, I'm going to make sure that I'm positioning that post in a way that leads a trail to my website that shows people how to get to my website or tells, explains to people how to get to my website and also provides a benefit or a why. What's in it for them? Why are they going to go to my website? Too often as entrepreneurs, we assume that people are going to be as excited about what we're doing as we are. And that's just oftentimes not the case. It's our job to make sure that we are um, pretty much, you know, encouraging that ex excitement with our business and spreading the word as to the potential and the value that what it is we're offering can help others with. So, um, you know, what need can, can this post meet or what need can my business provide? Um, what want is this helping others achieve? You know what I mean? So that's what should be capitalized and um, promoted and showcased throughout your post, that information right there. So the first thing that I want to touch on is, do I have an end goal with this post? So before you make a, a post or before you write a marketing caption under any uh, post that you do make, no matter what platform you're, you're on, ask yourself, what is my end goal for this post? Is my goal to say hi, let people know that I'm still here and still active on my Instagram page, which is important. Sometimes when you have people that are following your page, um, it's very important to engage with those that are following because some people may just unsubscribe or unfollow if all you post is the same thing, or if all you post is, hey, why don't you buy from me? If all you post is, hey, I'm having a sale, why don't you take a look at it? You know, So you do wanna make sure that you're switching it up a bit, not getting too routine with your posts, not getting too routine with your business. I've talked about that in some other videos, um, but still you know, making sure that you're engaging with those that are following you. So sometimes it's appropriate to post a selfie and say, hey, how are you all doing? Or it's appropriate to post a question and ask for feedback from your audience. Now, sometimes you may get feedback, sometimes you may not, but it's still appropriate to throw some of those posts out there to get people thinking and so that people don't lose interest in following you because if they stop following you, then there's a good chance that they won't see what you're posting and then you won't be able to direct uh, that area or you know those people that were following you that stopped following you to your website. So it could result in you know maybe lost uh, sales or a reduction in your website visitors and just different things like that. So we wanna be cautious of that. So number one, again, make sure that you have an end goal. What is my goal with posting this? Do I hope to get more people to sign up for my email mailing list? Am I aiming to get more people to go to my website? The goal needs to be more specific than I'm just wanting to get more sales. Think deeper. Think, you know, um, try to think more sp 
specific. Yes, of course, we want more sales. I think every business owner wants that, but what specifically are we posting this for? Um, the next point, the next tip that I have is don't assume that they know. So a lot of times when I see different captions, one of the, the things that I think a lot of entrepreneurs, including myself, I had to work on this as well, is not assuming that everyone knows what it is you know about your business. So yes, you may know what your product can do and you may know the benefits of your services, but don't assume that someone else knows that. I was working with uh, someone, she's an entrepreneur, she started her business and I was helping her with different captions as to what she should post on Facebook. And when I read her caption, it was great. It was a great caption, but it really didn't explain what her service was going to offer. Um, it said things like, you know, um, make sure you book now. It said things like giving, you know, we're giving a discount to the first 10 people. It said things like, we're excited to work with you. But if I didn't know anything about this business, I would be looking like, okay, this is great. This is nice. I may even like it if I know her or if I, um, you know, want to support the business or the idea. But as far as purchasing or booking, I don't know anything about what she's offering. I don't know enough information. So it's very important to not assume that people know. There are a lot of people that post even on Instagram, hey, bundles for sale, shop with me. Well, what type of bundles? What type of hair are you offering? Um, what length options do you have? And I'm not saying that you have to get too, too in detail with your post because you don't want your post to be too lengthy either. And I'm gonna get to that in another um, portion in this video. But you want it to be something that's going, you want, you want to mention something that's going to explain what it is you're offering, the key point, and have enough information to grab attention and enough information to make people want more. So what I tell a lot of people that I am doing consultations with, we don't want to put all the information in the caption. You just want to put enough information that's going to um, ignite some type of interest to make those people want to go to your website to read more. And while they're on your website, that's your opportunity to engage in chat options. If you do have Shopify, I've talked about some of the different options that you can add through the app store to add chat options on your website. That way you can engage with people that are on the website, keep them interested. They can ask you questions if they have questions and you can ultimately secure more sales. So don't assume that they know. In your post, make sure that you have information, not too much, but enough information that's going to explain what it is you're offering. So if it's a Black Friday sale, say something along the lines of, um, be sure to enroll in the email mailing list. There is a link in the bio. You don't wanna miss the Black Friday sales that we're going to be offering. It's going to be huge this year. If you wanna learn more information, be sure to click the link in the bio, go to my homepage, sign up for my email mailing list, and also read more information about some of the discounts that we're going to be offering. Something like that. So it's not too long, but it lets people know, hey, she's gonna be offering a discount. Okay, let me go ahead and get more information if I need more information. Also, let me enroll in her mailing list. Let me see what she's talking about. So it's it's still leading, it's feeding some type of suspense and anticipation. Um, your picture for that caption may look like, you know, may, may have a, a variety of your products and services. Now, again, that post doesn't explain exactly what all of your products and services does, but it does leave a link and it leaves enough information to um, you know, kind of birth some of that interest and anticipation for people to go to your website and learn more. The difference between that example and the example that I just explained with someone that I was helping and, you know, she had, there's a discount, there's this, there's that. This was a brand new business. So there's really no prior knowledge about what they are offering. There's no, you know, there's not a lot of posts where people can go through and actually scroll to see the benefits of the products and services that you're offering. They're just going off of what they can see. And if they only can see a few posts, and if all the posts only say discounts or book here, that's not enough information that's going to, um, you know, secure as much, as many bookings as you would like to secure. And this, um, you know, the, the business that I'm referring to didn't have a website or anything like that. So you want to make sure that you're being very strategic to your business and you're kind of, you know, tweaking it a little bit and trying different things out because not every post should be the same, but there should be information in each post that correlates with a picture that you're providing and also goes back to what is your end goal? What do you want people to know from here? If you're a new business, you want people to know about what you're doing. You want people to know about your products. You want to be in a introductory stage where you're introducing what it is you're offering. Not so much on there's a sale book with me, more so on the value that you're going to be providing. Now, once people know who you are, once you have a, enough posts 
on your page that are you know that gives people information and shows different products and services it's okay to go ahead and post a sale that you're offering because at that point like i said there's enough prior information enough prior posts where people can go and kind of get adjust for what you're offering so it all just kind of depends there's not a one way to do anything in business it all depends on where you're at in your business and what makes sense for you so be sure to be strategic in how you position the post these are just you know i'm just going over a guideline but again it's very important to be strategic with how you post in your page because no two businesses are the same. The third tip that I have is hashtags. So hashtags are really appropriate. Make sure that you are putting hashtags that are relevant to what you're posting. Um, for me, I'm not a huge hashtag buff. You know, in, in other words, I don't love putting hashtags underneath my, my post, but I do it because I know that it is going to um, give me a higher chance of being seen. Uh, from people that aren't following the page, you know? So if I'm promoting something about my hair business, then I want to hashtag hair business or I want to hashtag um, bundles or something along those lines. You know, you can also do research to see which hashtags are, tr are trending, but I definitely would post uh, hashtags below my pictures. And I would try to do at least more than 10, especially if you're just starting off to try and get you as many views as you possibly can get. Again, my focus is not getting the most likes. I just want as many people as possible to see what I'm posting so that I can um, direct people to what it is I'm, I'm marketing at that point. And um, the next tip that I have is length check. So check the length of your post. A lot of entrepreneurs, including myself, you know, sometimes we can be lengthy. Sometimes we can just get so excited about what we're doing, what we're offering. And it's great to be excited with your products and services. But keep in mind that a lot of people are not going to be as excited as you are because you are the creator of this business, right? This was something that was, uh, you know, inside of you, one of your passions. So everyone's not going to have the same interest nor the same passion. And that's fine. Um, so with that being said, they're not all going to read everything that you have to, to write or post. So um, just knowing that people don't really have too long of an attention span, um, you do want to make sure that you're capitalizing off of the opportunity to post and not putting too much information under the post so that number one, they're not going to want to go to the website because for what? They already have all the information under your post. And then there's a chance that they may not read all of your um post because it's too long. They may read a couple sentences or maybe even a few paragraphs, but if it's too long, they may say, okay, forget it. She's not getting to the point. I'm going to scroll over and go to someone else's page. So be cautious of that as well. And then the last tip that I have is check your analytics on Instagram. Um, also, if you have analytics on any other platform that you are uh, posting on, check the analytics and look at the timing. Look at the days where most of the people that are following you are going to be on Instagram because again, the goal is to have your post seen. I have made posts many of times and have gotten like one to two likes and I've gotten way more sales off of that post. So again, don't get discouraged with the amount of likes. Don't even focus on the amount of likes. Just focus on the value that you are providing in your post and focus on how many people you're able to convert from that post to your actual website or to the landing page that you have designated. It's not about the likes, again, it's about the impact of your post. And you can tell that by looking at the analytics and seeing what that post is doing for your business. I use Shopify. If you are interested in using Shopify, there is a link down below this video. Make sure you click it, choose a plan that works best for you in your business. And there may even be a free trial, but you have to click that link to see. Shopify shows me all the analytics. It shows me the traffic that I'm getting from YouTube videos. It shows me the traffic that I'm getting from Instagram posts, Facebook posts. And it also shows me how, um, like the conversion history. So if I get an order today for drop shipping, for an example, it shows me, okay, this person has visited your site two, day, two times over the last two days. And they originally came from Facebook. And I can see, okay, well, I just made this post on Facebook. They must have clicked this link. You know what I mean? So it, it shows me what's working and what's not, you know, so to speak. So be cautious of that. Make sure that you do have an e-commerce platform that is working for you and your business. Again, I recommend Shopify. But those are some general tips in regards to marketing captions. I really hope that this video helped. If you have any additional questions, be sure to leave them down below or follow me on social media. That way, when I do make a post asking for you all's comments and opinions or just asking what you're struggling with, you'll be able to send me a message and let me know and I can create a video in regards to that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Thank you.